Hello Virgo, it's my lady from the Ladies Way Tear, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 30th through November 6, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you don't like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Sorry. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on for the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. October 30th through November 6th, 2017. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay. So it seems like it's some kind of emotional issue going on here. Let's see. Alright, so it seems like somebody may be hiding a secret and it's uh, becoming to be too much to them. It's like somebody uh, is overflowing with emotions because of their secret. All right, so it seems like somebody been holding on to the secret for just a little while, and I feel like it's getting ready to come out. Let's see if they'll tell us what the secret is. What is the secret for the Virgo? Ooh, what is the secret for the Virgo for the week of October 30th through November 6, 2017? Mm. Okay, the secret is about a situation that's been going on for a while. Let's see what this situation is. What is the situation for the Virgo? All right, so it seems like um, some of you guys may, be, may have been using somebody, and I feel like you you starting to feel bad about it. You're starting to feel bad about using somebody, or somebody's starting to feel bad about using you. And let's see what's going to happen in the next couple of days. What is this Atlantis about? What is this rapid development for the Virgo for October 30th through November 6, 2017? Wow. Okay, so I feel like you're going to tell this person that you don't love them. You're going to tell them you don't love them and you was using them. Or you just might actions speak louder than words. You might just take off. But I'm feeling like um, just right now you you feeling bad about the situation and you're getting ready to leave. Or tell them. Wow. Okay. So it seems like somebody may have been um, dealing with their ex. And I mean, this is a general reading, so it can go both ways. But since it's here, it says the person with the secret that's getting ready to express that they don't love you or you don't love them is dealing with their ex. And they've been silently dealing with their ex, but uh, you've been silently dealing with your ex, but you've been... Um, using the person that you're with okay yeah so it seems like somebody wants to go back to be with their child's parent okay or just somebody a relationship that they really care about mm. okay but it's saying basically the grass ain't greener on the other side so it's like uh the reason why you left this person in the first place is probably gonna be the reason uh, you're going to leave them again. They're trying to act like something else because you're with somebody else. But when you go back to them, they're going to go back to the same old bull crap. So, yeah, it's just a bunch of baggage. That's what you're about to go get into. Or this is what your partner is getting ready to get into. Okay. All right. What's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, this might be a bonus reading for you because I just remembered. I did yours already. So, Virgo number two. All right, what's going on for the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, love reading for uh, October 30th through November 11, 2017. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, somebody been um, spending all their money on the side person, which is their ex. Ex. And it's not going to turn out as good as it want to. I mean, as it's supposed to. So it might, maybe a Leo you're dealing with, or it's gonna make you gotta get some strength together to to tell this person that you don't love them. Mm -mm. All right, 
right, so it seems like somebody has been lying and deceitful, deceitful. Mm. Using the authority against you. And I feel like this is the ex that you feel like is the right person. Wow, okay, so I feel like this person is making you feel like what you coming out of heartbreak. You know, you're going back to get the person you really want because they're going to act right this time. But it's deceit. Oh, great. So it seems like you may be about to move in with this person or this person is about to move in with you or closer to you. Oh, but there's no love communication there. Oh, my God. Okay, it's a false love offer. Okay, but let's read the book. All right, Knight of Cups. Oh, no, sorry, the King of Cups. I apologize. All right, the King of Cups is first. A dishonest male, deceptive, lack of integrity, not to be trusted. So it could be male or female, but this is a, a the, it's just an all bad person. Bad person. They trying to make you feel like they changed, but they haven't. Okay. So we got the three of swords. Reverse. Emotional denial. Lack of focus or direction. And harsh self-criticism. So this person got you thinking that it was your fault in the past. You know. And you thinking like, oh, it wasn't that bad. And all this stuff to confuse yourself to make you feel like that's who you need to be with. Other than this person that's taking care of you. But you just using them because you really don't like them because you still love your ex. Mm. Okay, so we got the staffs. Knight of staffs. All right, and it's reversed. It says severing of connections, emotional or physical separation. So I feel like this is the separation that you're leaving this new person for the old person. And it's also... You're getting ready to get hurt from the, uh, going to the new person. I mean, going back to the old person. Yeah. Everybody's going to get hurt in this equation instead of the the ex. They the only one that's going to be cool because they really don't care. They just want you away from the other person. You're theirs and they're mine. Okay, so we got the eight of cups. It says elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, gatherings, new possibilities, can be created when you look in alternate directions. So this makes me feel like it's going to be happy for a little bit, but it's going to go right back to the same crap. And it's telling you that you need to look away from all this crazy stuff because you know this person is no good. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.